life is just too short and you don't have time to waste with people, places, and things that are not in the interest of your highest good. This also applies to your wardrobe. Let's get rid of the clothes that are not in the interest of our highest good. What can you count on and what can you count out? We are going to make two lists, friends and enemies. That's right, judgment time is here. Are you my friend or are you my enemy? Let's get started making our lists. Now from the image here, you may think I'm gonna break out into like rap lyrics, but really I'm not. It's just the topic of the video. So if you don't have a toned backside, how can you minimize the appearance of a big booty? Like I said, I know big booties are in, so if you're trying to look like you have a big booty, then just disregard what I'm saying in the video. Or if you wanna look like you have a bigger booty, just do the opposite of everything that I'm telling you in this video here, okay? So let's look at our two lists our friends list. It's getting pretty long now. You can see newly added is dark denim jeans. On our enemies list, you can see we've also added button flap jeans, which I'm going to explain to you on the next screen. So here it is, button flap jeans. And when I'm talking about that, I'm talking about the button flap on the back pocket of the jeans. So you can see here it has where it looks like a little envelope with the button flap there. Now, why is this the enemy if you have a big booty? The reason why is it's creating bulk in an area that already has too much bulk. So you don't want to have more bulk there. So you're probably noticing that pattern in the different videos we've been discussing that that's where I keep saying like, um, take bulk out, take heaviness out of areas that are already heavy. So by having that flap there, it's making it look bulky. The other thing is by having those buttons there, it's drawing attention to an area you don't necessarily want attention drawn to. So if that is your problem area, do you want people staring at it and looking at it all the time? Probably not. Therefore, you don't want anything that's going to draw attention here. So the other thing wrong with these jeans as well is you can see all the ornamentation on the um, back pocket. That again is drawing attention there. I don't see it quite as much, but a few years ago it was a very big deal. You saw a lot of the back pockets had rhinestones and different things on them. And again, drawing attention to that area. There's nothing wrong with that if you want people to draw attention to that, but if you're trying to minimize the appearance of your booty, you wouldn't necessarily want to have those. So button flap jeans, bad idea if you're trying to minimize the backyard situation. So then what's on your friends list? What's on your friends list then are a pair of dark denim jeans. So you can see the ones here I'm showing are just a pair of white leg ones. It doesn't necessarily have to be that. What I'm talking about is the wash of the jeans. And that is because the darker color you generally want to put on areas that you want to look slimmer. That's why you've heard before black is slimming. Okay. So if you are heavier on the bottom, generally you want to wear darker colors on your bottom half. And that is why dark denim jeans are so great if you are trying to minimize the booty area. The other great thing I love about dark denim jeans, aside from um, the body issue, is that they are just so much more versatile. With a dark denim jean, you can dress them up and wear them a lot more places than you can if you have a lighter wash. Therefore, in anybody's wardrobe with their jeans, you should in general have more dark denim washes just because there's so much more versatility. So you can take a look at the outfit I have here. It just, it looks more dressed up than if I had a lighter wash jean. So it's just very simple wide leg jeans. I love wearing the wide leg jeans with wedges, um, a very loose billowy tank top, a structured jacket over it, and then gold accessories. And you can see it looks so like chic and dressed up. And if it was a lighter wash, you can see it, it would, I wouldn't pull off the dressed up look quite as much. So again, that's the other reason I like dark denim. But again, if you have the big booty, or if you are pear shaped in general, you're gonna wanna um, go more towards the darker wash end of, of the jean spectrum. So here's our friends and enemies list. You can see it's getting pretty long. We are, we're several videos in now. So on the friends list, we have billowy sleeves. It's gonna minimize arm flab. We have straight heels because those are gonna help slim or help our calves look slimmer. We have the V neckline, which is gonna make us look like we have a long, elegant, graceful neck. We have a blue song blouse because that's gonna help to minimize any muffin top situation or back fat or back rolls that may be going on. It's gonna hide all of that because it's just billowing out and 
floating over it. And then we also have the dark denim jeans that are gonna help to minimize our booty area. And I should really say anybody that's pear-shaped, it'll help minimize booty, hip, thighs, all of that. So dark denim jeans are for sure on the friends list. On the enemies list is just as long. So we have puff sleeves, chunky heels, mock turtlenecks, a blue sun blouse, bun flap jeans. So if you don't know what I'm talking about for any of these, you can just go back and look at the previous um, videos. In this video, we just talked about the button flap jeans and why that is bad because it's adding bulk and attention to an area that you don't want to draw attention to. This video series is not only about our enemies. We also want to celebrate friendships. Therefore, I have created the Gal Pal Glamour Plan. You can visit the URL aishajones.com forward slash glamour plan to get the plan. The reason this was created is that we are much more likely to take action and have fun while doing it if we engage in an activity with a friend. So whether this is you decided to take on the latest diet, <laughs> or you decided to do a master cleanse, and or go on a detox and just drink green drink for a week, or you decide to take up yoga or take a cooking class, it's just so much more fun if you engage with a friend and you'll stick with the activity longer if there's somebody that you can go along with and you guys each hold each other accountable and that's the whole purpose of this glamour plan so there's different checklist items that you can go through there most of the resources are completely free you may not even know that all of them are even available to you out there so you just go through to the website print out the pdf for it and then what it is is you complete one half of it and your gal pal completes the other half of it by having someone to work alongside, you will be much more likely to complete the items on the list. So think of it like having a very glamorous accountability partner. Remember that two heads are better than one, and one glamour plan makes two heads better. So get your gal pal, print out the list, do the list, have fun. We're almost finished with the series. We have one more video to go. Well, the next one we'll be looking at, if you have a large bust, how to minimize the appearance of large breasts. So as I say, one woman's problem is on another woman's wish list. Therefore, some of you may be going, I wish that was my problem, okay? But there's many women out there that this is a problem area. In general, they want their body to look more balanced and therefore they wanna like minimize the appearance of their breasts. Now, you may go, I actually wanna make my boobs look bigger. If you are that, <laughs> if you are that person, if you are that woman, then go ahead, watch the next video and just do the opposite of what I'm saying in the video and it'll help to maximize the appearance of your breasts. For, for those of you that wanna minimize it, it's a great video. It's actually gonna be the last video in this series. So we have one more item to add to each of our lists. And we will continue to compile our list. What's our friend and what's our enemy? One more video to go, one more item to add to the list. Thank you for watching.